Oh, I need my keyboard as well. I've been not playing Trackmania much the last days. Woo! And when I played Trackmania actively, before that, I tended to get Division 2, so... High expectations! High expectations! It's starting! It's starting, let's see what it is today. We are using the Eat Pasta Go Fasta car skin. And we are playing Sombrero Escalero. Does it already have the rankings on the... That's new. On the image. It's a fun name. Sombrero Escalero. Vixa equals dirt, yeah. A lot of palm trees. It is December 29th. But I guess this is also like the most tropical month if you're from a country in the southern hemisphere, so. Merry summer. But it's the 30th. Ah. Time flies too fast, man. <sighs> Let's get back into gaming. This guy's Sigma is... Dude, I am in your lobby. Oh, let's go. Good luck. <laughs> do we do we regret using this car skin? The pasta, the pasta car skin? I really like familiar Shout colors. You, <laughs> so like... Happy holidays. Pepo Chia. I never look at my car when I drive. I always look ahead on the road. And the car is kind of just a peripheral vision, like a dot on the screen that never moves. If the dot changes color, that's a bit weird. I like this transition in the start. Already a very creative map. And then he uses another dirt ledge there. Drift around. I'm assuming this might have a texture pack. Oh, Vixa. His author times are very good. Like, this is a clean run. Ooh, through the ring. Okay. Wow, very creative mapping. Sneaky, risky finish there. On to the ledges. So the ledges are like the main theme he's going for. I think it's a cool theme. Can we learn this though in 15 minutes? That's the question. Ooh. Try to just drive a run through. There was one more uh, ledge somewhere here. Yes. And then long left turn into the ring. Oh, that resets the no engine, okay. Drop down. Up around the pole. And then... Oh, that's kind of precise, the uh, risky. Is this Tatorna's skin? If so, he's an amazing streamer and wonderful skin maker. I Happy voted for him as uh, <laughs> Skinner of the Year. Yes, this is the Eat Pasta Go Fasta car skin. Wait, is that? Wait, no. I think there's a pasta detail under the car there. Do you see that? <laughs> I think that is in fact, yeah, it is. You see that? <laughs> okay, let's focus. All right, amazing. I was like, damn, this, this skin is very simple though, like. Where's really the details? We got pa pasta extendable flaps. Oh. That's most definitely a drift, like in the GPS time. So, through here. 
Uh. Dude, I really gotta drive some clean runs. Cause I'm crashing a lot now. Four minutes of the qualifier used. Don't really get a lot in a couple of days. I just have no feeling for that, is what I'm noticing. Like, absolutely no feeling for when to hit the apex of the turn. Let me try to just continue. This guy's Sigma is good. Where do you want to hit this? Like, there. Okay. And then, this guy's following Sigma that up. Dude. Very tough map here, guys. Like, so cool, but also extremely tough to learn in 15 minutes. Okay. I feel better about it now, though. Which Driving that respawn run. Try to get a no respawn time through. And we should be chilling after that again. Better speed here. Slightly better approach. And then here. So, I notice I have to be like... Far on the right before I hit that. Oh, this is gonna be tricky for the exit. Still hate it. Made it. You can carry a lot of speed through here. Get a dare to commit. And then this was full speed, wasn't it? It is. And I got a 49. 20 seconds. See, like, this is really challenging for everybody so far. But I can somehow gain over one and a half seconds. If not more. This guy Sigma is dude. Eight months in a row. Welcome back, thank you for the support. I'll check all the resubs after the qualifier. Really appreciate it though. I'm sorry about the Christmas break. But my family chat were very happy to see me. So I hope you uh, have me excused for my absence. Ooh. No. <laughs> Yeah, no. I don't this even know how Sigma like people dude, people stream dude, more seven. than what I do because I feel like I stream a lot. But then there's people like they stream every day, and it seems nice, but it's just so much time. This guy Sigma is like, what dude. do you do when your mom what is invites this word you? Excuse that he's using. To eat lasagna. Do you just say no, mom? I'm playing Trackmania. Perhaps. Perhaps that was that's what they do. Woo! Which bra? Okay. We're right on the cutoff now. 60th place. With my amazing 49 seconds. But I can drive faster for sure. I'm eating eating pasta and I'm driving faster. Ooh. You guys know what I've been doing through Christmas holidays chat? I've been watching copious amounts of documentaries about Ancient civilizations. <laughs> like, ridiculous amounts of stuff. Just all about ancient civilizations. How did they build the pyramids? Is there a link between the builders of the pyramids in Egypt and the builders of Machu Picchu in Peru? 
A lot of fascinating stuff. And it's not the aliens version. It's, it's not like, oh, ancient aliens. No, they're like... The general theory from these people is like... There was a really advanced civilization, but they died in a great catastrophe. At the end of the last ice age. Woo! Which bra? Yo. Woo! Which bra? It is interesting. When was the last time the Twitch streamer got laid? About a fortnight ago. Fortnight ago. I don't know. Buckley's mom was uh <laughs> was here last night. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Got him. Too easy. Guys, I'm struggling. I need a good run. Oh. Graham Hancock? Yeah, he's the the main guy. Then there's also stuff around like... Like, just videos where they theorize how they might have built a pyramid step by step. Just like the actual process of building it. Like what they could have done to lift the stones. How they could have transported the stones, like just... I don't know. <laughs> the whole thing, you know? I fell into the rabbit hole and now I'm like... I'm into deep math. Okay, half a second. If I get that half a second, we're through. And like the interesting thing is there's nobody really knows. Nobody really knows as far as I I've seen. Like, there's theories with varying degrees of, like, probability. And of course, some are going to be more likely and supported than others, but... There's no definitive, like, proof of this is what they did. And it's so fascinating to me. Like, there's just this great unsolved mystery. But yeah, three minutes. I gotta get a run through. There was a copy pasta I used to paste in Twitch chat in my early days of Twitch. Which was born too late to explore the Earth. Born too soon to explore the galaxy. Born just in time for dank memes. Feels good, man. But now I feel, you know, maybe I'm not born too late to explore the Earth. If there's still unsolved mysteries like that out there. Forty second? Is that gonna hold? What a sketchy ending. I don't think it's enough. No, I don't think it's enough actually. I don't know, it's a hard map to improve on, though. Oh, I don't like it, but we'll see. Yeah. That should get us through. 
47.99. I still feel I have a big room to improve on, to be honest. Maybe like a second. But it's so hard to survive this map without crashing. Because you see how many edges that I have to drive close to? Like, the probability of clipping one of them is just... high. Oh. Many misses. Ah! <laughs> Stake start run. Okay, we still kind of survived. I think I'm going to end like 40th. If I didn't improve, I was probably out. If I didn't improve, I think I would be out of Division 1. So, hey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would definitely not qualify. Okay, good. We make it though. 40th one, 41th in the qualifier, 41st. Let's see what we can do in the knockout. Manly scream. Why, yes. I squeal. Like a man. Um, let's check the, the world record. 46? Jake Ray. I was ahead. <laughs> For like a split second. Still ahead. Okay, that's good. Yeah, very low here in... This is, um... Fourth gear. Which I agree with. And is this full speed? Yeah. I like that. Looks pretty doable. You don't really like this map? It's... It's tough to be consistent on. Map too precise, right? I can imagine, like, if you're around division, let's say, 20, usually, I think from that point and onwards, this starts to get, like, hard to even finish in the qualifier. Am I wrong? Am I right? It's a beautiful map, though, and I'm happy it did get track of the day. But the difficulty is uh, steep. How is virtual? I'm doing great. I feel pretty uh, rejuvenated after Christmas holidays. Ready to get back to streaming. I have a lot of cool videos planned for 2023. The one thing I feel I didn't get to do a lot of in 2022 was make main channel videos. But I basically used a lot of time to start a lot of projects. In in other areas. Uh, but now that those things are done, I'm able to put more time into um, main channel videos again next year. So I'm excited about that. More stories. There's so many stories to tell. There's even more stories now than uh, the ideas I've written down like a year ago. For 2022. So it's exciting. Dude, the thing is starting and I feel like I'm going to crash every round. I can't be the only Div 1 player that feels that way. No shot I'm alone on this. It's a super unique map though. Like, difficulty is one thing, but Vixa here, he dared to make something that we haven't seen before. 
something unique. And of course, if it's your first time driving on these blocks, then yeah. How are you gonna know? That's fine. It's like that for everyone, I think. That's really cool. Oh, this would be a big PB, by the way. Spam this pasta to make virtual pasta. Ice map, yes, shows wild. I heard it was two big ice lights. Also not doable for experienced players. Yo, Vix, that's fine, man. I like it. Dare to think outside the box. Don't let yourself be confined to 45 second standard tech. Alright. We need people to uh, expand our horizons. See, that right there <laughs> would be a very bad place to crash. Because if I respawn there, what's going to happen is I just loop right back into the same crash over and over again. In fact, you want to be aware of this in a couple of days. Crashing a checkpoint, like as you collect the checkpoint, is one of the worst things that can happen. Crashing the checkpoint itself. If you... If you and yet, I'm, by the way, with that crash, I'm 26th. How do you turn off other cars? Press O. O for opponents. Islands are gonna get a race. That was only that one cup of the day, all right? I don't trust myself to beat him here. I, I could go out anytime. What is that skin? It's a... Uh, pasta manufacturer called Barilla. And the theory is that if you eat pasta, you go faster. We're putting it to the test today. Also, Barilla, hit me up if you ever need a uh, Twitch streamer to uh, talk about your spaghetti. There's a lot of people on Twitch. It's a big market, untapped market for spaghetti enjoyers, so. Ugh! Tricky jump. When did Trekmina get released? At 2006, the first stadium game, the same car we use now. But they're re-releasing this game on console in uh, in the early parts of next year, 2023. So if you happen by this at some point, 2023, like, I don't know, April or something is probably when it's out. Hmm. Watching on YouTube lately, glad I could catch the stream. Fellow Norwegian, glad, you're welcome. Always cool to see people making the journey from YouTube to Twitch. It is one click over, but there are so many YouTubers I watch that going into the description and making the way over to Twitch usually takes a while, so. <laughs> I appreciate it, YouTube frogs. Twitch chat is, uh, is not hostile, they're nice. Very welcome. I'm just gonna keep driving. I am fine. I'm not in danger. I am not in danger. <laughs> we do not panic. Everything's fine, relax. The risky finish, it's... I just have to actively prevent myself from steering. It's just press forward, honestly. After aiming, it's just press forward. It's like, I just have to not... Yeah. Took you almost one year to get here? Yeah, I get that. I get that. You accidentally DNF'd 
It happens. You gotta unbind it if you hit it by habit. Every time I coach someone and I say like, you gotta remove your retire button. They're like, why? I'm not gonna press it. Uh, yeah, they're gonna press it. You have to make the mistake to uh, know. <laughs> you you kind of have to get traumatized a little bit to uh, to learn your lesson. Isn't there some philosophy around that that like you can give all the advice in the world, but the best way people learn is by making mistakes themselves. Miss Risky? It's unlucky. It's, it's not easy to aim. Burnt fingers are the best teacher. Huh. Learn from others' mistakes? Yeah, but that's my entire point. It's like... You can hear of others' mistakes and be like, damn. That... Sucks. But surely it's not gonna happen to me. I would never do that. Lamal. Yeah, okay, well, we survive. I think. Okay, not too far behind. <laughs> I had a big no drift. See, this is pure Division 1 quality. Pure Division 1 quality. I am playing like a true top 0.1% player right now. Wow. You've never retired in Cup of the Day and you did it now after virtual. It's kept talking. Lovely. Damn. What could even categorize that as? Failing from other people's mistakes is what we could categorize that as. It's like hearing the don't think about pink elephants. What pops into your head is probably not a pink elephant. Ooh. That's why I, I often try, and this is a very important distinction for me at least, is like... I often try to, instead of thinking about, oh, I, I should not crash, like, let me not crash. I should focus on not crashing. What I'm picturing in my head is that I'm crashing every turn. So instead, I try to say, like, okay, let me try to drive away from every wall. Or like, let me try to drive with a margin between me and the wall at all times. And then I envision that, and then it's easier to focus on that. Because sometimes I will think about a crash happening and it will happen like two seconds later. And I will have actively thought about it <laughs> in my head, like envisioned it. And then exactly that happens in my car. Okay, survived. 
posture check? Your magnificent chin is out of frame. Do I, do I slouch? I changed my camera angle a while ago and I feel like it hasn't, it hasn't been as like perfectly framed ever since. Cause I like, I, I lean. I will try. That's pretty chill. Feel like I can do that consistently. Top 32 is reached. And unfortunately for Alan Sar, our lovely editor on virtual TV, he's out. But I, I will say it's kind of cool to like have a, an editor this good at Trackmania. Like, goddamn. Get Trackmania content from Track edited by Trackmania Pros. That's that virtual TM quality. And then we have Buckley and Nick Sly who are trying. They'll get Division 1 someday, I'm sure. And the newest member on the team base as well will all be Division 1 Copium. I long for the day. <laughs> you drove 47 2 in Division 4, yo, so? Yeah, that's better than the fastest time in, in Div 1 so far. No one in Div 1 has driven a 47 2. Shows the importance of qualifier. Pick up the pace a little bit. Whew. It's a sketchy jump. Good one. Forty-seven eight again. Seems like I can keep that going pretty, pretty far. But I do need like forty-seven five, forty-seven four, eventually. Picture the scenario, guys. Picture Trekmania console release takes off. Everyone plays it. Everyone loves it. Millions of new players start playing the game. And it eventually reaches a point where I am physically incapable of getting Division 1 anymore. There's just too many good players. I just can't get there. It's already pretty bad right now. What about after console release? There's Division 1 players now that picked up the game last year and then within two years they are faster than me. Or sorry. Uh, picked up the game two years ago and they're faster than me now. Like... There's gonna be a generational shift in Trackmania, I'm telling you. I'll just be the old wise storyteller. <laughs> 
and not an elite gamer like right now. Don't clip that. Don't clip that. Don't. <sighs> My time has come. The future generation, I hand over the keyboard and the controller to you. I pass the torch. <laughs> 21st today. Not bad though, not, hey, not bad, not too bad. Hey, all right. 21st on this map. I could have gone further, but again, look at my personal best, right? It's not great. One player I'm excited about seeing uh, is actually Levon. Levon is one of the best Norwegian players. And I'm going to check the stats in a second for confirmation, but I believe the last couple of days he played was six months ago. That I saw him in, at least. Um, he took a long break from the game. He's an elite gamer and would never fail the end. I mean, obviously. Obviously. Uh, Trackmania IO. Let's see this. Levon. Great car horn. Uh, so he played one, um, oh, two a month ago, and then it was four months ago, five months ago, and then seven, eight months ago. So yeah. His last win was 11 months ago. Elite gamer. Will I play regionals? Uh, is that the TMGL thing? The Trackmania World Tour? I'm quite excited about rank next season. The rank changes. And I think it would be fun to try. Because some people will get into Trackmania and they'll think like, damn, this virtual guy is the GOAT. He's so fast. And then, you know, maybe I could show like where I'm actually at on the ladder. I'm not the best. I would say I'm good at the game. I would say that. I would say I'm good at the game. But am I, am I really top 100 world in a World Cup setting? I don't know. Damn, I thought Scrappy was out. <laughs> Scrappy's been in the orange spot like five times. Figured out how to get my trophy to Europe? Not yet. And I actually haven't heard anything about that, so I need to uh, message Toyota. Ask them where my trophy's at. Mark's still missing his OGL trophy. I'm still missing my uh, my Toyota trophy. Oh wait, K-Nice? Ooh. This might be one of K-Nice's best uh, couple of day performances. Also from Nor- Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. You're fine. Just don't miss the finish. Simple. Even I could do it. Bro, I destroyed my keyboard today because of DO3. Should I play with gamepad? I think you should get better. Because that seems to be the problem, a bit of a skill issue. I don't think it's the input device that matters. If you were better, then you wouldn't destroy your controller or keyboard. But that being said, there's no difference if you're actually wondering. Keyboard or controller. 
toxic? No, he destroyed his keyboard. His mom bought him that. I'm not toxic. I'm being a good role model. His mom bought him that keyboard and said, Hey son, here's a great keyboard that you can use for your gaming hobby. I am supporting your interests. And then you lost it to DO3 Acrobatic. A 15 second wall ride map. I will say, and I've had this experience in many games, you reach a point, and I think you can call it like the rage point, where it's like you've played it a little bit and kind of enough to where, you know, you're getting a bit of the hang of the basics. But you also feel like you should be, at this point, advancing and getting better at lightning speeds. Like every day, you're getting just you know, you went from getting all the altar medals, now you're gonna get all the campaign world records. You're gonna beat Hefes, you're gonna beat Demon, you're gonna beat Race Haunts. Uh, yeah, might as well finish all the khaki maps while you're at it. Oh, let me just win a couple of the day Division 1. Etc, etc. Um, and then when the progression kind of slows down, when it stagnates, that's when the rage hits you. I've had this happen with chess. I've had this happen with GeoGuessr, with Rocket League, with Pokemon. Pokemon. I broke my Game Boy when I was a kid. Trackmania, even when I started playing this game. League of Legends, CSGO. It's, uh, it happens everywhere. You just gotta remember, like, enjoy the journey. Nobody becomes a pro overnight. Once you reach, the, reach your destination, what do you do then? What do you do when you become a Division 1 player and there's nothing left to learn? And you're just, you know, you're good at the game, but... There's still Carl Jr. who... You, it's gonna be tough to beat. The journey is a lot more fun, I think. Rage and Geogaster? When some complete bozo who guesses like wrong continents, but survives his mishaps, beats me because I happen to get one singular guess wrong between South Africa and Australia? Yeah. Yeah, no, that hurts. You can just tell like they're kinda bad at the game, playing on their iPad. And I'm sitting here on a gaming computer. It loads in faster, I can click around faster, I can quickly zoom in, on important details. He's sitting there with his iPad like, oh, hmm. Completely wrong country every single time, but then he, he wins the 50-50. No, yeah, no, that I had to uninstall. I had to uninstall. That was not good. A skill issue, right. I felt it like brewing and I was like, okay, no, we're, we're leaving this one. I uninstalled it from my brain. Meaning like, yeah, no, we're not thinking about ba 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 this anymore. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Somehow. Is it possible to survive this? Uh nope. It is not. Anyone know why Carl doesn't play more couple of the days? I talked to him. When did I talk to him? Flag Rush Tournament. I talked to him a few weeks ago. Uh, what he said is he works. Because think about it, he's from Canada. It is daytime right now. And he has a job. So right now, Carl is at work. But there's a few times when he's at home, you know, and then he has time to play. That's why you miss my streams, because it's daytime in Canada. 
I understand. I understand it's tough for uh, North America. Ooh. By the way, in, in my ramblings, we're actually getting close to uh, top five. We have lost some of our heroes, K Nice, Levon. And we're actually left with a really stacked usual field. Down tends to go for the safe finish every time. Is he going to do it? Okay, no. Every round he's gone for the safe finish, and now he was like forced to adapt to risky. Um, Sprout versus the world. Yeah, there's this uh, interesting duo. Dexter and Scrappy are going to be a duo in World Tour in the Challenger League. Is it still called Challenger? Granati, Matus, and Melio. I don't know if Melio's won before. I think he might be the least winning player of the ones remaining. Granati, Scrappy, and Dexter are like top three all time in a couple of days. Let me uh, double check this though. But yeah, if anyone, I'm rooting for a underdog victory for Melio. Let me check it. He has a silver. He has a second place as his very best. I know Matus has won before. Melio will be my champion for today. In all the couple of days ever hosted, only about 150 people have ever won once. Because you have people like Scrappy and Grady with a combined like 150 wins. So yeah, Dexter out. Top four. What about reruns? If you count reruns, AR down. The guy who got sixth place. Oh, sorry, tap that. The guy who got sixth place today, he has won about a hundred times in Cup of the Morning and Cup of the Night. Because they are less played. At 120, apparently. <laughs> he is also the guy who's played the most couple of days ever. If you count those, then it is domination from AR down. Emilio in last year, though, out all oh, by five hundredths. Hundred and eight reruns. You won your division, you congrats. Top three. At this point, kinda hoping for the classic final, Granati versus Scrappy. But we'll see. Matus is very good on tech. He is a tech player through and through, and this is very technical of a map. Water drift. But also these uh, weird parts. Good line there. Getting gear 5 holds it all the way to... Oh, this is such a good round. Really fast round and close. Between the players. Needs a good end here, Matus. Or perhaps one of the others to fail it. Inside line, low speed. This is not going to be good for him unless someone fails. Oh, but he's the one that makes the mistake. Good times, though. Point 0.1 by Scrappy, point 0.3 by Granati. GR. It is the classic final. The two most winning couple of the day players of all time. One from Germany, the other from sideways Germany. Now... Representing team Berlin International Gaming Granati misses the airtime here. Wants to meme it by using his car horn. Scrappy gets a lead, about one tenth in the start. I saw Granati had a different line here in this uh, wide turn. If he goes all the way out, he does. So wants more speed into this turn, but that again might make the setup awkward. Scrappy still a tenth ahead. Turn around the corner here. Oh, better speed though. Can you get a lower jump? It's gonna get ever so slightly closer, but this is still a big lead for Scrappy. 
Granati needs a miracle, and he pushes for it. He's actually getting quite close, but Scrappy will have the trajectory here. And with a good jump, he will take a couple of the day win number one quadrillion. GDs. <laughs> sick, yeah, sick performance from Scrappy. Somehow, surviving like eight rounds where he probably should have gone out in orange. But uh, that's, you know, that's the fighting spirit. The fighting spirit. How many couple of the day wins does Scrappy have? I think he's approaching the 100. It's not 100 yet, but it's kind of close. Um, couple of day, 82. That was his 82nd win. This is the the ladder. 82 wins for Scrappy, 53 Granati, Elcon 33, Dexter 29, Barbos Mime Link, Gwen has 17. And look at this win rate, 20% win rate. Most of these were played in um, 2020. And basically anytime he played, he kind of won, kind of cracked. I'm here, 21st, with nine wins. If I get one more, I get double digits, which is uh, cool. I want to get double digits, then I'm very happy. Um, but yeah, if you look at this list and you just keep scrolling, these are Division 1 wins. 168 players have won a couple of the day. That's it. Even counting troll couple of the days. Only 168 players. Out of, you know, thousands.